Nerdy Fam, it's your girl Kimmy Ann coming to you with another reaction video. And I am super excited for this one, not only because it's probably one of my most anticipated movies for 2022, but it's also something that I just grew up with and have been super excited to see it come to light. And that is the Rob Zombie, The Munsters. Now I know, I know you're probably gonna be like, The Adams is better, but you'd be wrong. I'm sorry, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Actually, I think both of them were really great, and I'm not really sure why The Adams Family got so much more praise and got so many more ad movie adaptations over the years, because I do think The Munsters was stronger in overall writing and character development, but now is the time for it to shine, and now is the time to react to it. By the way, let us know in the comments if you're Team Adams Family or Team Munsters. Now that we have our handy dandy headsets, let's do this. Is this the original intro from like the TV show? Cause it's giving me some vibes. Rob Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween, and the Devil's Rejects. Okay, wait. Uh, one thing about the Munsters is it's super campy, really silly. Um, a little over the top and so having this intro kind of set it up being super over dramatic really just sets the tone so I don't know much about the movie I tend to not do a lot of research before trailers like this so I'm hoping that it is really silly and really out there and just very kind of like I already said campy so this is definitely setting up my expectations let's let's see what happens brings you the greatest love story ever told Oh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Look at that thing! The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body of a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> I want a man that makes my... Okay, besides Marilyn Munster, who's one of my absolutely favorite characters of the whole family, Lily Munster is my second favorite. Uh, both females were very strong for this show, but I really just like how vastly different they were. And I know that there's probably not going to be Marilyn in this because I didn't see anyone casted for her. But I am really excited to see how Lily comes off and the actress who's playing her. Blood run cold. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like... A... Okay, okay, that crypt though? That crypt is amazing! Like, I would have that for my fucking wallpaper. The colors, I'm really here for these set designs going on right now. Dig through my dead black heart. I can whip you up a humpy down in the- Grandpa! I'm telling you, Grandpa- Okay, I lied. Grandpa is the best character of the Munsters. Grandpa is the top character. Then Marilyn, then Lily, <laughs> then Herman. The lamb. Oh no, remember what happened last time? He was bad at to go. The hat? Okay. I'm looking for a vision. That, what is that, a jacket? A robe? Whatever it is, I am here for it. And the ascot? Come on now. I have a strong feeling that the fashion in this is going to be like above amazing, but also that we'll probably start seeing a lot of these from like designers like Her Universe, probably in shops like Hot Topic, which I am excited for because take my money, just take it. A queen. True love. And what exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? <laughs> uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a red... That alone? Oh my god, that's such a... Like, the outfit, the parasol, the car. I'm such a sucker for the old car. But that purple suit! Killer gal living a boring, normal life. The wedding dress. If there's one thing I know, is that the rest of the world melted away as soon as you appeared in my life. Aww. It seems Miss Lily is truly Sunny and Cher? Oh, this is too much. Love. Oh, come on, you know and I know that we gotta get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you are not a Munsters fan, then you do not know about his laugh. That is like 101 Munsters uh, old school type character building is that Herman Munster laugh. I, oh my, I'm so glad 
that they put it in here, but I'm so glad that, like, they even turned it up a notch from, like, the original to, like, where we are today. <laughs> <laughs> to the black and white situation which I'm not sure how that's gonna connect like are they gonna be filming it in this sense like are they showing a little bit of the snippets from the originals are they tying that into the plot then to the flashes of the color and the super energy and personalities I am all here for this this is just so on brand for I feel like Rob's, Rob Zombie in a way but then also the monsters as well as being slightly different and exciting and energetic to something that I think a lot of people are going to connect to. House. Greetings from Transylvania. <laughs> That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're going to have to get used to it. Okay, the only issue I have a little bit is with the Lily voice. I don't know... I don't remember that being in the original show. Um, so it is a little interesting, but you know what? Everything else is so great. Whatever. I probably am going to end up watching that trailer multiple times in the next few days because there's so much packed into it that I feel like it definitely is going to take a few times to find all of the small Easter eggs. One of the things I think really stands out is the vivid color. Because again, you have to remember the show was black and white, so to add these very vivid uh, images and colors and fabric designs really just adds a little extra magic to it that I feel like almost reminds me of the 90s. Like think about like Scooby-Doo 90s movie, early 2000s. I don't think it came out in the 90s, but you know what I mean. That very vivid color choice, that pop, and then merging it in with the black and white, as I already stated, it was like a lot of fun. They are definitely tying in a lot of things like the soundtrack of like when the girl fainted, that is so 1960s sitcom, uh, to grandpa looks spot fucking on. I gotta tell you, I am obsessed with grandpa originally, but this actor, who is this actor? Daniel Roebuck. I don't think I know him from anything, but fantastic. So good. Um, I'm here for all of it. The Herman laugh really sold it to me. But overall, I the only thing that's missing is a freaking date of when this movie is going to come out. Well, that's enough ranting from me today. But sound off in the comments. Are you a Munsters fan? Does this movie make you want to see the Munsters from someone who's never seen it before? Do you think it's too campy or just perfect? What was your favorite thing in the trailer? And again, let us know. Are you Team Adam's family or Team Munsters? Until then, like, subscribe, and make sure to check out our website, theilluminerdy.com, as well as go follow our Twitch and all of our social medias at The Illuminerdy for more amazing nerdy content.